Here we go. So first we will do the preparation, which is harmonizing your energies. So first we will call on the spirit of the earth, the element of protection and stability. Feel your connection to the earth. Feel the solidity of your own bones, of your own body. Feel that it is impenetrable to other energies. It is your fortress. It is what keeps you stable and keeps you safe. And if you need more strength and stability, take the energy from the earth and draw it into your own body. harmonize your life force so that it flows evenly and smoothly. And give attention to the places where it is too fast or too slow or too constricted. Breathe. Breathe and give attention places which are uncomfortable. Because it is the life force that determines the condition of your energy body. Your ability to transform yourself. you reach outward through the element of air. To become aware of the web of connection to your family, to your friends, to your surroundings. How the air takes your energy into the world and also brings you the energy from all the animals, stones and plants. And as you breathe out, share your energy, share your blessings with the world. And as you breathe in, accept your connection to the world. body moving as you breathe. How you suck in the energy of the world around you and share your blessings as you breathe out. And make this connection as harmonious as possible. And 
now we call for the element of fire, the element of transformation, which allows your body to become different, which allows your life force to become different, which allows your connections to change. Feel the fire which is flowing along your spine, your kundalini energy, connecting the heavens to the earth through your body. And allow this fire to penetrate into your physical body. Allow the fire to become one your life forms. And allow the fire to flow out with your breath and in with your breath. So that all of the other energy bodies become permeated by fire, allowing you to change them into whatever your spirit desires. Now that we have all the elements connected, we hand over control over them to your spirit, to your higher self. Focus on your heart, on the most high, most divine part of your being. And allow that part to grow. to expand and take control over your physical body, allow it to take control over your life forms. five energies are combined, we are ready to start our journey. We start by building up an image. Think of a place in nature where you enjoy being, where you feel safe. strong so you don't just see it you start hearing it smelling it feeling it feel the wind hear the rustling of the leaves or the singing of the birds feel the ground under your feet Smell the air. And give attention to all your senses. In this imaginary world, in this imaginary place. And start moving your energy and awareness into the image you're creating. Energy goes there, the stronger the sensations become. And now try to find a landmark, a tree, a pool, or a hole in the ground where you can meet your guide. 
Don't go there immediately. Just look at the place. Imagine it. Make it more strong. Make it more real. And very slowly, step by step, start moving to the place. It is good to lose focus a bit. Try not to imagine it but very clearly, but allow your imagination to turn into fantasy. Allow yourself to be guided in what you see, hear or feel in this place. The spirits can create shapes to make themselves known to you. Try to change a little bit the environment to accommodate the spirits. Spirits can be spirits of water, burrowing animals, walking animals, walking birds, flying birds, crawling animals. To find a home for all these animals. And as you approach this place, allow these animal spirits to come out. It's also possible that there are spirits in human shape. And as you go closer, they come to welcome you. Walking birds are often symbols of wisdom. Having both the knowledge and the visions of the sky, but still having the practicality of having both feet on the ground. The ability to see far is translated into the ability to, to see deeply. Water animals connect you to the collective consciousness. They allow you to make contact with your previous incarnations, with your ancestors, with spirit groups. And crawling animals and underground animals. They help you to look in your own subconscious, to find the roots of your behavior. Allow the animals you meet to 
make contact with your energy body. Sometimes you will ride them or they will ride on you. Or you will eat them or be eaten by them. It's all symbolical part of becoming one, becoming connected. connection to deepen but you may also change shape to grow feathers or fur or scales and become more like them so you can follow them lose your human limitations gain the flexibility of a spirit. Allow the fire to help you to transform. So you will have the flexibility to change shape to go into any world, into any realm. And we will choose one of the guides to lead us on our journey. It is also possible that a god or a goddess or a saint or even an angel will appear. To plan your trip. Feel how the heavens are opening up above you. And the knowledge and the mercy of the higher worlds shines on you and your animal guide. you become inspired by the same source, leading you on the path of light. energy body and your guides to become organized by this inspiration of the higher worlds. Your energy body will purify itself. It will get rid of all the energies take you to other places and the 
energy, the vibration which will take you to your destination will become stronger. Your energy body turns into a magnet, taking you to the correct place in the cosmos. required now before you can begin any trip is the power to set you free to launch you into the cosmos the power in this case the plant but it can also be the animal or the mushroom which will release your consciousness and allow it to move into the cosmos are holy beings whose purpose it is to help our spirit, help it to transform our physical self, our earthly consciousness. So kindly ask the spirit, the spirit of the power, to come and join you on your trip. just to be taken, the transformation to take place.
As your trip is finishing, just allow the energy to flow back into your body so you can integrate the new energies. Back into your physical self, into your life force, to your connections. Thanks to the spirits and the guides who helped you to make this change.
you can meet them again on other trips. And see if maybe some energies of theirs want to come with you into your body to help you to continue your change. Invite them to travel with you, not only in your trance journey, but also in your everyday life. To allow your life force to come to rest again. your mind to come to rest, to give yourself the space for the new things to move into you. Allow yourself to be filled up with new energies. Thank you.